Winston, Winston, come on, big guy. We call him our brass puppy. So Winston's way of making friends is to lick them. Anytime there is a horse's head sticking out of the stall, Winston will see it, stop, try to reach up and give a kiss. If they don't put their head out, they just don't want to be bothered. I'm trying to say good morning and she's so, nobody ever wants to say good morning to my boy. But for the most part, they look happy to have Winston give them his morning kisses. It's funny because when Winston first arrived, no, none of the other animals wanted anything to do with him. <laughs> Winston was definitely a big surprise. He was supposed to be going to another farm, but the people changed their mind about him. But when we saw a picture of him and we were like, of course we'll take him. Hi baby. And when he arrived here, all the animals were like, what on earth is that? I know, you never saw a little cow before. He's really very sweet. But as he grew older, he found some friendships. Rudolph, I'd be really careful with that horn if I were you. Ronnie was the first horse that seemed to look forward to him stopping at her stall. And her fence line is also adjacent to where his fence line is. So it became a routine. Ronnie's previous life was being a racehorse and then she was a polo pony, but she ended up developing a degenerative disease. So I think she was a little bit stressed out. And then here's this little fella who just wants to give her morning kisses every day. Winston says, Ronnie, I know you haven't been feeling well. Winston has changed her life for the better. It always warms my heart to see him have friends. And it also is a great lesson for us to see how different species can get along. Winston is definitely a true love. He's been such a wonderful addition here at the sanctuary. Baby, you gotta stop, okay? Stop being so silly, I love you though.